Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Lost in Creation, and it's your girl, Saz Ross. And I'm here today with a phenomenal, amazing, talented actress. She's based in L.A. She is someone, yes, someone I actually met in college. And I'm so excited to talk to her. Her name is Simone Posey. And I want to say, hello, Simone. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're excited to talk. And I want to get into everything you've been doing because you did make a transition from dance to theater and acting. Mm -hmm. And I want to hear about that journey. So tell me, tell me anything that you can... Oh man. Um, well, for starters, New York, well, from Maryland to New York is one step. Yes. Um, but and and that that was, you know, coming from the comforts of not really home, but college and just being around in that community. And then I went I moved to New York with no job, uh, three hundred dollars and no place to live, but I ended up renting a room that cost three hundred dollars. So essentially I had no money. Um yeah, I went from like going on Craigslist every day, trying to find a job, finally found a job, um, was in a couple dance companies, uh, did a lot of stuff in dance, music videos, um, performed, um, went on a couple of tours to a couple cities with dance, and I ended up being a high school teacher uh, for two years doing special education. Then I woke up one morning, I was like, uh, I feel like I'm not not doing what I want to do. I feel like I'm continuously helping out everyone else, but yeah. what do I want to do? What's my purpose? So I was like, all right, let's pick up again, figure it out. And I moved to LA and I initially moved here for dance. Um, for some people, the dance world out here is amazing. For me, I didn't have that experience. Um, the dance world just wasn't it for me. I didn't feel fulfilled. Um, so a friend like that I met one day when I randomly went out to dinner, because I didn't really know anyone out here, um, I went out to dinner with two people that I knew from Maryland that were here. And uh, I was like, look, I'm looking for a job. So she was like, all right, I might have a job for you. Hook me up with a job. She also was in an acting class. She was like, I don't know if you're in the acting, but you know, just in case you have, you don't have anything else to do, um, come by. And I was like, well, I don't know anybody. Maybe it'll be a good way for me to meet people. And I stepped foot in there and oh my gosh, I, it's like a feeling that it's it's like a feeling where everything else just goes dark around you and you just feel like it's an aha moment of like, this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. Oh, epiphany. Mm -hmm. It's a yes. beautiful yes. epiphany. Yes. Yes. And so, yeah, from that point on, I just changed around my whole life, including like working jobs um, that will give me the flexibility for auditions, just meeting people. Um, you have to say yes to a lot of things you would normally say yes to in regards to like when you're first starting out, um, doing short films and things for free because you need to build up your repertoire and build up your network. Yes. But um, it's just honestly been amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. And it's incredible that, you know, you came from this mind space of being able to take risks, right? Do something you've never done before and just say yes. I feel like some people either really need to learn how to say yes or learn how to say no. And in this case, you know, <laughs> you're at a space and time in your life where it was necessary to take the risk, and, you know, mm -hmm. get lost a little bit for a second and then find your way. So you've been acting. What is, what's like your favorite thing that you've done so far with that? Oh man. Um, hmm. I have many favorites. Uh, I would have to say one of my favorites recently um, was I did a co-star on the HBO show Insecure. And that moment is was one of my favorites, not because it's Insecure, but it was one of my favorites because I stepped on set and I had no feelings of being nervous or anything. Like I already booked it, but like, yeah. you know, it's it's a huge set and it's a huge popular show. And so I just stepped on set like this is where I belong. I didn't feel any type of way of like I, I you know what I mean it yeah. is where I'm meant to be and um yeah it's just it's it's mind-boggling and it and also humbles you because in this day and age um I just remember like before, prior to quarantine being on set for you know commercials or shows or tv shows and you you're all good you know getting your makeup done hair done there's craft surfaces you're just eating up a storm 
And then as soon as you get off set, having to get dressed in your car on the highway to go to work. Like, it's <laughs> you're exiting <laughs> one world, entering another world. It humbles you. It keeps you grounded because waiting yeah. tables. Oh. Girl, I did that for way too long. Way too yeah. long. But, you know, if anything, a lot of people are doing it. It's the hustle. And, uh, you know, it's something that you have passion for. So it's mm -hmm. worth spending the time and energy to do it. So yeah. I, I commend you for that. So what I'm going to do right now is actually share your Instagram, which is on fire. It is awesome. <laughs> it has amazing clips. I want you to stop me at a clip that you want to share or talk about a little bit because... Yeah, I get chill sometimes when I see you act, and it's, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So here you are, Posey underscore gal for all those people that are looking at this, and yep, oh yeah, right, we have, we're going to talk about Black Lives Matter in a minute, because I know you were protesting in LA, which is super interesting, um, but You yeah. can go down to keep going. Uh, that's a scene, that's a tap scene. You can go to, uh, go... It's one, go up a little bit. Yeah. Go up a little bit. Um, go up a little bit. I think it's the one. It'll say like, it's a clip of me on this show that's on a new streaming network called Urban Flicks. Oh, cool. Is it this one right here? No, I think it's farther down possibly. Right. Keep going down. Let's say. Uh, keep going down. Keep going down. It's here. It looks like this is a little clip. Here's a little out loud with Claudia. <laughs> oh, look at all these fabulous pictures. I like how we're, we're just like, we're getting a little, little, you know, and maybe, maybe it's up further. I guess I, I, I posted it earlier and I just forgot. Um, go up, go up and stop right there. It's the one where it's like, I'm in a uh, off the shoulder dress underneath the vegan lasagna. <laughs> oh, under, oh yeah, here we go. Really Beautiful. It's okay. Hi there, have a seat. As soon as you're ready, we'll have you slate to the camera with your name, your height, the role you're reading for, and then we'll get started, okay? Okay, but I was actually wondering if it's possible to read one of the lead roles, the three girls. Well, I'm sorry, those roles are already cast. But the director told me I'd be perfect for a lead. I'm sorry. The producers haven't signed the director yet. <laughs> you sure? Because he told me himself. Who's this director? Derek Abrams. Really? And what exactly did Derek tell you? That the producers were fired and that he's directing this movie for Centaurus and that the leads haven't been booked yet, so I should read for the lead role. Well, welcome to Hollywood, sweetheart. That asshole lied right to your face. <laughs> huh? What a jerk. <laughs> oh my gosh i love it i love it love it love it oh man and you look amazing like i love you you know seriously like do you i know that you went vegan when you moved out there yes yeah and you dropped <laughs> 30 pounds like it was nothing <laughs> Woo, it's been girl it's been a process but i love it yeah that's not gonna happen for me i it puerto ricans eat too much pork and uh, <laughs> It's like point of no return, but I'm so excited that we were able to share that clip and just peruse. Talk to me a little bit about Black Lives Matter for a second, because uh, it's obviously very prevalent. And I think a lot of people right now, you know, uh, are, are sort of curious and wonder, you know, what that scene looks like, especially at West. Mm -hmm. um, since, you know, this, this is a, this is the East Coast show. So what's been, what's been going on? How have you you know, uh, participated and, uh, what are some thoughts that you want to share about it? Oh man. Um, black slide, black lives matter is nothing new. Yeah. Um, especially for black and Brown people. Like this is definitely nothing new. It's something that we've all faced since we were, you know, before we were born at the end of the day, I think it's just, um, becoming more in the spotlight, um, because you know, the things are just getting, they're, be, they're being recorded it's not that things are getting worse it's just that the fact that they're being recorded and they're put out there and that people are becoming more aware of this um i think 
me personally, my beliefs is that um, I believe that Black Lives Matter. Yes, I believe that you know all lives matter. They all do. However, the ones that are constantly being um, you know shown and constantly start, you know uh, statistically people are losing their lives. Black lives are at a higher risk of you know losing their lives and police brutality. So. That's why um, I support Black Lives Matter because we have to do our job no matter what race you are. Um, if you are aiming for equality and you aim for love, we have to make sure that um, we are doing our due diligence to make sure that everyone um, has a fighting chance. So to me, uh, I support Black Lives Matter, that movement and just, you know, the, the fight to getting us to be equal. So, yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, that that's so uh, beautifully accurate. If anything, I think a lot of people have done learning in this space mm -hmm. and time. And, you know, even though the movement has existed for, you know, a very long time, some people are really only finding out, you know, the, right. the, the, the true meaning of it now. And exactly, it's a learning process. And, you know, all we need to do is, you know, spread the message and make it known and heard so that people are educated, you know, because Absolutely. if we were looking at this on the surface and we didn't know anything about it, right, you would think, wait, doesn't everyone matter? But at the same time, we need to address the, the lives that have not been taken care of yes. in order for everyone to matter. Everyone can't matter unless, you know, we, Every, have, right. Right, we, we pay attention to the group that needs our help, care, and attention. So it's it's really just a matter of leveling everyone up and making sure that you know that group has a fighting chance. <laughs> so, you know? And it's more like we can't do this alone. Like we need everybody on board. Yes. So yeah, absolutely. So thank you for you know being brave and protesting and safely with your mask. <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> yes, always. Um, yes. But that's something it really it makes you a true hero and i think a lot of a lot of actors a lot of people who have been in the spotlight have been sharing that as well and it's important because there are so many people that look up to you know <laughs> those people they see in the entertainment world so yeah and i think it's important to realize that like protesting is not the only way that you can show support uh, i think there are so many different ways it's just you have to play your role you have to play a role because not saying anything is not, is standing up for, you know. Right. And then, you know, doing one Instagram story of saying Black right. Lives Matter, that's, that's not going to do anything. Um, right. You know, if anything, I think people need to learn how to be proactive and, you know, mm -hmm. learn how to promote other Black owned businesses and, you know, maybe find ways to donate money instead of that lemonade stand, get the Black Lives Matter stand up <laughs> Yeah, send emails out to your local officials. You know, there's so many ways to get involved, but do something. Even even if you're not involved on that level, if you see a conversation taking place, it's your job to insert yourself on that conversation and say, hey, you know, this needs to stop. Because yes. it, 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 has to, it has to start in homes at the end of the day. Right, and you don't want to be a bystander. And if anything, right. like, you know, you don't want to be someone looking at it and just seeing it taking place and not doing anything about it. Because if you were that population or, you know, uh, race in need, you would want that as well. So yeah. it's really just a matter of this elementary, uh, primary level thinking of, you know, if I was in that person's shoes. So yeah. People, empathy, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If people can just put themselves in that mindset, I think it'll be, you know, a, very helpful to get more people invested and on board with everything going on so yeah i, I kudos to you for doing <laughs> for you. That. and before we leave we always have the end of the segment of lost in creation talk about those who can do teach so i know you've already taught but how have you been teaching the community now what have you been doing to impact lives uh today oh man um i feel like once a teacher always a teacher so there's never any room to stop and i don't think you need to have to personally teach within the confinements of the education system to be a teacher yep. um i think 
I think simply by spreading awareness of whatever it is that you're doing, I think reaching out to people, um, answering questions, even when someone may not have the same idea as you and the same mindset, it's, it's great to have open dialogue so that maybe you could change that person's mind. Um, I think it's also important, especially in the acting world. I'm still learning. I'm still new to it. But anybody that comes out here and, and has questions, always, always, always reach back and help somebody out because you didn't get here by yourself. Somebody had to teach you. So it's always important to answer questions um, and give guidance wherever guidance is needed. That's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should, like asking questions, answering questions and educating people around you and mm -hmm. doing it in a way that is personable and enlightening is such a, a powerful, powerful thing. So yeah. if anything, uh, I appreciate you and the work that you've done to help others and teach others. And, you know, I just want you to keep spreading those positive vibes because it's needed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so is there anything else that we should be aware of before I let you go? How can people find you? What, uh, what projects are you working on or what can we look forward to in the future? Sure. Um, so right now, oh, well, first you can follow me on Instagram at Posey, P-O-S-E-Y underscore G-A-L. There you'll also find my IMDB, which is being updated. It's a little link on the top part of my Instagram. Um, you can also look out for, I'm going to be learning some new action techniques because I'm gonna be in an action film shortly. Um, I'm also working on a new comedic project uh, that films in July. And um, yeah, I've just got a couple things coming up. There's so many genres of, you know, of this artistry of uh, drama and theater that, you know, the, the, the roles are endless. So be on the lookout. Wow. Okay. You got an action film, some humor in the mix. Oh man. That, yeah. If, if I could maybe do a reset button, maybe I would do like, you know, comical, comical acting. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, that's anything. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to seeing it. And thank you again for being on Lost in Creation. Have amazing, beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you.